So for today's lesson, we are going to learn how to use custom fonts in React Native. So let's get started. I already have my fresh project being created using Expo and I have my simulator open on my right hand side. Okay, so the first step is that we have to import Expo font from Expo and because this is external library we have to install it from Expo website so head towards to expo.io okay and let's search for sorry um, font go to API reference and font this one and let's install using Expo so go to your terminal and let me open in a new tab here and then just paste it and hit enter and it will store it into your project wow we are good to go so after installing it into your project the next step is you are going to create all the functionalities inside the app component the main component because it is the app component that will run first so we we want to load our font when the app component gets loaded okay so the next step is that let's import import um, star as font from expo font like so and we are going to make use of what is called uploading component from expo and what uploading component does is that it makes sure that our font gets loaded before it displaces the screen okay so just like it will prolong the launch of our app okay so when you go to api and you go to app loading is here and you can see a react component that tells expo to keep the app loading screen open okay so we are going to as the name implies app loading so we are going to use the app loading in place of the font so the whole idea is that we are going to display app loading if our custom font has not been yet what loaded okay so that is what but actually this one was by default installed for you automatically so you don't need to install it into your project okay so now let's import uploading also from expo like so okay so now i have it here so the next step is we are going to create a function okay a function that will load our font but before that let's go to google font and download the font that we want okay so let's say google font and let's look at the font that we want to use in our project okay so for example assuming we want this font um okay uh, whatever <laughs> okay i like dancing script font okay so now click on font and you have different styles regular medium bold and other style so i like the bold 700 so i'll click on select this style and click on download family okay so click download and make sure that you extract okay it so double click and then this is the font you are going to use which is dancing script variable font wait <laughs> it's a long sentence okay so let me download uh, actually i think um, okay this one 
okay let me increase the font i just want to change the style and select this font okay so click download here and see okay so let me open one more time open like so and then you can see we have this one um with the font okay so you can copy it and paste it into your project so copy and come to your project so inside your access folder create a folder called font okay you can place anywhere but i did how to organize all my stuff inside my access folder and then paste the font inside the one you downloaded make sure you look at the name dancing create dash variable font okay so now we have downloaded our fonts and it's inside our font folder in our asset okay so what you are going to do is we are going to load this function okay um, so first step let's create a function that will load the font for us so i will call this one as const fetch font okay i'll use a function and we have to font dot load async and it's an object that takes the name of your font okay and where it's located so we can name it whatever you want the the name for example dancing script so i'll make mine as what um dancing um script okay like so and you have to use the require and locate where your font is but remember you have to type the whole name okay so now let me copy this name because it's a, it's a long name so use the name of your font and come here and say require and then bracket and then look into your asset folder one up your asset and font and in there you have your the name of your font but make sure you add extension ttf okay tt sorry dot ttf okay so now we have added our font called dancing script so the next step is that since um fetch this one returns a promise we have to return the promise so wherever we call this function this function returns what a promise and the reason why we are returning a promise from this one is that uploading requires a function that returns a promise okay so now we can create a state to make the, the logic so you say use state use state and you see that um, font loaded okay like so so by default you make it false like so okay you see that use state is not defined so now let's import it here and say use use state okay good now we are good to go so after creating the function okay so now we have to make the logic that if the font is not yet loaded we are going to return the uploading component okay so before the return function okay so you can say that if font loaded then we are going to return the uploading component okay and the uploading component are set couple of props okay the first one is called start async okay and this takes a function as a callback this start async takes a function as a callback that returns a promise that is why we return promise from this function 
okay so we pass in our fetch font okay and the next prop it takes is unfinish okay sorry unfinish and this unfinish will run when our app when the font gets loaded and this also takes a callback function okay but all what we want to do is that we are going to update our state and see that set font loaded to true okay and the other prop is called the um on error okay on finish on error okay and this one will call we just add some error but we can just dump it into the console so we can say on error and then you just see that we just dump it to the console and say console.log because we don't want to do anything with the error that is coming from there you can say error like so okay so now we have it we have make a function to fetch the, our font and you're making the logic if the font is not yet loaded we are going to return the app component so that this will not return our main component it will delay so now let's see and refresh our app you can see nothing nothing has been changed yet so after importing it we have to apply it to the text we want to style it with the font so next step is that let's define a text style here i will name it txt and i'll make it font family and the name that you use here is what i'm going to use so you make it dancing script okay dancing script so i'll make it here as what well, dancing script and so what we are going to apply the style to our text we we'll come to the text and see that your style is equal to styles dot text and let's see voila it has changed by the font is small so now let's apply some font size so that be visible and make it let's say 40 and let's see you see now our font has been changed so this is how we add font to react components thank you for watching